This is Plastic and Pixels, where I review video games based on the worlds of tabletop games. This time I'm looking at Talisman, the Horus Heresy, an adaptation of the Talisman board game set in the tumultuous civil war that was the Horus Heresy. It had a free weekend recently on Steam, so I thought I'd give it a shot. The game isn't big on actually telling the narrative of the Horus Heresy, but it uses it as a framework to set up the game and the characters that you play. Instead of the generic archetypes you'd get from Talisman or Relic, the 40k version of that game, you get Primarchs like Robut Gulliman and Angron, along with other lesser characters from the Black Library novels. The mission is to circle the board until you're strong enough to get one of the titular Talismans, then fight your way to the center and conquer Terra or defend it from Horus and his traitor legions. There's a slight change to the gameplay here that I found pretty neat. Players are on teams of loyalists or traitors, and they're working together to stop the other team. This also places a bit more emphasis on combating your opponents than I've ever found to happen in regular Talisman or Relic, which was a neat modification. The built-in teamwork aspect is handy in a game as backstab prone as Talisman. As for the rest of the gameplay, it's classic Talisman. You make your way around the board killing things or having them join you, getting gear to make you stronger, fighting more and more enemies the closer you get to the center of the board, and going on quests to get the talisman you need to progress. The AI opponents aren't terribly interesting, but they don't really have to be. They're smart enough to at least choose the best stats for any given fight and not hand it to you. Unfortunately, their turns take forever by default, so cranking the speed up for them is an absolute must. This game looks both under and overproduced at every opportunity, which is a little off-putting. You've got some really great art on some of the cards, but sometimes it looks like they just took a photo of a model off Forge World's website and used some Photoshop filters to make it look like a digital painting. The music is also generic as hell, sounding more like something from a stock music archive than like anything intentionally composed for the game. It's serviceable enough for a budget adaptation of a board game that's usually meant to be played on a tablet or phone though, where it'll probably be on mute anyway. It all mostly works, and it has a fairly Warhammer flavor to it. It's also weird from a brand recognition standpoint that the 40k board game version of Talisman is called Relic, and this is just called Talisman, but whatever, it's their license. So while this game has a lot of the strengths of Talisman, it also has all its weaknesses. I had the classic Talisman experience of a game where one player got overwhelmingly powerful and went straight for the middle of the board, while the other poor schmucks hung out in the outside ring and got murdered over and over again. Fortunately, I was the one guy doing well, but when I got to the center of the board, I'd found that I forgot to get a Talisman, and therefore couldn't fight Horus, and I couldn't finish the game. I'd have to go backwards one space at a time until I got out of there, at which point I'd need to find a quest or hope to get a Talisman from a random encounter. Unfortunately, the spaces in the center stopped drawing cards for me for reasons that I'm completely unsure of, so I just started trudging outwards for three turns before quitting the game that I'd spent the last hour playing. Talisman is still a good game, although not much has really been done to fix the flaws with it in this iteration. Unfortunately, Talisman just isn't that much fun to play solo. It's alright, sure, but it's a game that begs to be played around a table with your closest friends while you enjoy some beer and pretzels and threaten to kill each other. And even then, that would lose something if you were playing it in hot seat multiplayer or online through Steam. I'd say the game's playable, if not exactly interesting, and worth picking it up if you really love Talisman and can get it cheap. I'm glad I got to try it for free, but I can't say I plan on buying it myself. Thanks for watching my Talisman review. The game wasn't for me, but if you like it, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Check out some of my other game reviews if you'd like, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see my next video the moment it comes out. You can also follow me on social media to see what I'm working on, and I hope to see you next time.